Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friend Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is seven of wands, six of swords, four of wands, five of wands, your person's energy is knight of cups, the moon, six of cups, king of cups, meeting energies, ten of cups, temperance, page of wands, nine of wands, Ace of Cups, our focus, Three of Swords, bottom of the deck, Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows, Arrows of Love, there is someone from the outside, like an outsider, guys, that um, can put in jeopardy the connection that some of you are sharing with a meaningful partner, even a spouse. And I have to follow the setup. So the one that can be called to resist can be some of you. You get the seven ones. You have to resist avances because of the five of ones. You have to do that so that you can protect the four of wands, ten of cups, ace of cups, combination of energies that you share with your partner. They might not be aware of the fact that someone is trying to even seduce you guys. The six of swords is a quiet energy but you have to be careful because even a page of one's energy if kept kind of under the rug behind the curtains you know unpleasant things can still find a way to manifest So, rock bottom, uh, the rock bottom is the three of swords, guys. They can be energies that uh, manifest themselves. If you or your person, uh, if the scenario um, is unfolding in the reverse, maybe for some of you, if the one that is receiving avances agrees to fall for these avances. Solitude. A quiet moment in order to think. Fortress of solitude. There is a ladder on the side of the building. And so guys, someone is trying to get in the outsider it can even be the page of ones coming to life it's happening but we cannot let the outsider become a reality i mean dry desert there can be consequences for this connection instead the one the one that is coming from the outside is like a mirage. A temptation. Mask. Not showing through feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. 
the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. Karmic relationship, bottom of the butterfly, it can be the case for some of you or vice versa, maybe for your person. If we follow the setup, guys, uh, your person loves you. They have deep love for you. Um, there can be little ones involved, the Six of Cups. If not, you have known each other for years. Maybe you have been together for ages, you know. Positive connection. It's in danger. Someone can get hurt. Someone can... Um, can be disappointed. The Ace of Cups can be put in jeopardy. This is a gift. If you are receiving avances, you have to play that uh, situation in a smart way. Or, again, your person should do that. So, let's find out more, guys. Um, I will follow the setup, flip the energies if you resonate with the scenario, but maybe in the reverse. For your person, guys, um, let's go for the moon, because it is the energy about the unknown secrets. So it's like this person doesn't know what's going on, but this can be a dangerous thing. For once, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups. They can freak out big time as soon as they start to smell troubles. What's happening? What's going on? Who is that person? What do they want? Maybe in the workplace, guys, who knows? The Eight of Wands is an energy about communication also, so the topic uh, somehow, some way can find, uh, can find a way indeed to come up. Let's see for you guys. Mm. I would go for the Five of Wands and then the Seven of Wands, Four of Wands combination. A bunch of cards for the Five of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Recurrent Energy, something that is kind of secret, you know, let's pretend that nothing is happening, Two of Wands, Crossroads, the Crossroads is linked to the offer that you can receive, which can even be the Knight of Pentacles one. I mean, someone is serious. It's like they want you. Regardless of the fact that you can even be married, for example. And you will have to decide. Page of Swords. Keeping it casual, you have to gather knowledge, but there can be someone that sees what's going on, guys. And gossip can start to unfold. The moon... What is kept as a secret all of a sudden can, can come to light because someone else can see it. This is like a gossip girl spotted. Not Serena Van der Woodsen in this case, I guess, was the name of the character. Let's see the Seven of Wands, Four of Wands. There is a lot at stake, guys, in a situation like this one. We have to be careful. Hermit, we have to be careful. We have to be wise. Moment of solitude, by the way. Here we go. King of Pentacles. There can be someone quite successful that can make you an offer. Indecent proposal, basically. Like the movie. If the King of Pentacles is the energy of commitment that you are sharing with your person, you will have to take a moment in order to think about the outsider, about your partner, your relationship. 
in the meeting, guys. Page of Wands and the Temperance. Page. Emperor. Queen of Pentacles, match for the king. Nine of Pentacles. Someone single, yes. Someone single that is trying to get someone else that is already committed. Five of Swords. Someone wants to win, guys. The outsider. They are not who they seem to be, basically. The real deal in this flow, guys, the real deal is the partner. The one that is already here. Not the one coming from the outside. Regardless of the masculine-feminine role, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, The choice is between the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone that can be a go-getter, but also someone that can fall for a Five of Swords mentality, and someone that can be already a proven partner. So in this case, you are the King of Pentacles. There is a lot at stake. You can receive an offer coming from someone that can be um, stable when it comes to their finances. They want you because they want you, basically. Love can be a question mark. Love is here. Love is coming from this person. The Ace of Cups comes from this person, not from the outsider. The outsider can only bring up the Three of Swords. The man in the Five of Swords is the bearer of the Three of Swords energy. If this energy comes to light, so emerges from the moon rock bottom it's like uh when the the mud hits the fan you get the point um temperance guys eight of wands queen of wands seduction Temptation, desire, attraction, especially if it is in the workplace. We spend the time together. Words can be shared and then something more. Five of Pentacles. The one that is feeling out in the cold wants to come in. They should stay outside because if they find a way to gain access a lot of problems can come up and a positive connection can be ruined guys judgment this is a wake-up call moment of truth The outsider has to go. It shouldn't happen. I mean, it's like an affair, basically. Um, it can start as a matter of words, charming words, you know, compliments, and then maybe something more, and then something more, you know. It cannot happen, these energies are working in that way. It cannot happen. The relationship has to be protected. It's like defend the land, the castle, because there is an enemy at the gate and they think that they can find a way uh, to enter, you know, to conquer the castle. The real deal is this person, guys. It can be your partner for some, for others. It can be your set of energies, 
But if that's the case, your person has to say no to an outsider. Because love is not there. Love, when it comes to these energies, is in the ongoing relationship. And if there are little ones involved, they should be a powerful reminder that something good is already being nurtured in this relationship and it should be protected. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.